My big sister showed me how to use my walker. welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I recorded a video um, I hope you guys did enjoy the past two videos that I put up um, sorry they were like super late but better late than never I actually got a lot done this past weekend so I was able to finally sit down and focus on filming my videos or not filming them editing the videos um, but we are back again with another update um, and as you can see like if you just listen there's no noise. I have the whole house to myself, finally. I have not had the whole house to myself in so long, such a long time. It's been like, ooh, maybe like four weeks now, a month, um, since I had, or not that long. No, yeah, it has been about a month, maybe like three, four weeks um, since I had like the whole house to myself. Um, and yeah i'm glad i have this time to kind of get the house organized and clean up a little bit because it's been there's just been a lot going on lately i have not been able to get a lot done like i usually like to and it's kind of been like affecting my mood a bit um but we're getting back on track. The twins, by the way, are with their granddad. The twins, by the way, are with their grandparents. Um, they are away for the day. I had two meetings for work and I needed to make sure that the house was quiet for those meetings. Um, plus, my parents usually um, get the twins on Wednesdays anyway so it was nothing new but yeah so I'm just putting on my earrings but yeah so I love when my when the twins go with their grandma and granddad because I love when the twins um go over to my parents house because they just have like a blast and they always come back so tired so um yeah they have a blast getting into everything um but yeah my house is a total disaster it's a mess right now i need to vacuum clean the kitchen like every room in this house needs to be clean which is like insane because i'm so embarrassed about how dirty my house is like I look like a hoarder slash a junk. <laughs> it just, um, I don't even, I kind of don't even want to like, maybe I'll just go like this in the video because I don't want anyone to see the background. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good, honey. But we are going to get this all cleaned up. I'm going to get as much of it done as I possibly can um, before everyone starts to come back home. So I'm going to start with the kitchen since that's like, where I'm standing so yeah just kind of come along with me today and watch me clean up my house and then I'm probably gonna take you guys with me when I go pick up Taylor has after school program today she has robotics club today so she's after school she's gonna be staying like an hour and a half after school for that um, and then after I pick her up from school, we're gonna go to my parents' house to get the twins. And my cousin is also coming in town too. So um, you guys may or may not get to see my cousin on camera. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. These dishes are clean, but they are still wet. Like my dishwasher is broken. Well, was that all the right thing? So, 
what happened. This is not okay. Yeah, this is not okay. Like, I just dumped out a whole thing of water from this mug. Okay. That's... Someone must have opened this dishwasher before it finished the drying cycle. Some of these dishes are okay, but maybe I won't be doing the dishes right now. They need to dry. So while I do this, I wanted to also talk to you guys a little bit about, um, just catch you guys up on the twins and how they're doing. Another mommy update. So the twins are 11 months old now. They are rapidly approaching their one year birthday, which I'm so, so excited about. It doesn't even feel like it's been a year, honestly. It just feels like it's been a couple of months. Um, but like reality is sinking in that they are almost a year old like I, I really can't believe it um but i'm so excited um i am still in the process of getting their birthday plans together i kind of know what i want to do um for their birthday their birthday is actually on a weekday it's november 4th so i want to do like a because of covid and the delta variant and all this virusy stuff that's going around I'm still not ready to do like a big party with a bunch of people. Um, so we're going to probably do like a hybrid type of situation, kind of like what we did for the baby shower. Um, but limit the in-person people to literally like our immediate family um, and uh, their grandparents and aunts and uncle, aunt and uncle. Um, so yeah, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. And then, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, cause I, I don't want to say too much before I actually like solidify my plans, but I do have like some things in the works for them. Um, other than that, they have been hitting so many milestones. They can, they use their words now. They have like a small vocabulary. They can say mama, they can say dad, dad, they can say no. They can say, Araya can say baby. Um, what else can they say? Um, oh, they can say yay. They say yay and clap their hands. Um, Araya loves to sing. She really like lives up to her name. Um, for those of you who don't know, Araya was the baby that every time I had a sonogram, she always looked like she was singing. So um, her name is like derived from the Italian word aria, which means song, and um, yeah, she she's definitely a singer. She loves to sing and dance. Jais also loves to dance. He likes to sing too. He sings also. He's a little bit more on the shy side. Um, Araya is very, very, very much like Taylor. She's almost like it's crazy because I feel like sometimes that I had the same baby twice. Like. Araya is like the spit image of Taylor when she was a baby. Um, they act just alike. Um, and then Jais, he is very, he's such a mama's boy. Like he's very, very, like he loves to talk. He's very vocal. He's very loud like mama, <laughs> of course. Um, and he just like, he's the baby that like wakes up and he needs to like see someone there or else he's gonna have a fit like he goes from zero to 60 in about 3.5 so um super fun to like it's super fun to like see their personalities really develop over time and i know of course you know as the as time goes by we'll start seeing even more things um but yeah so that's 
for the development. Oh, they can also, um, they stopped using their walkers. I'm not sure if I showed it in previous vlogs. I probably did, but they used to walk in. Let me show you these little walkers. They're common baby walkers. Every baby probably has. But these little things, they used to love these. That's what they, I started them out in these walkers pretty early though. Um, I can't remember what month I started them in um, with the walkers, but it was pretty early. And they really built up their confidence with those and got really good at like, walking like using their little legs to to walk and um now they don't want to be in the walkers um they stopped using them actually a couple of weeks ago when i started to notice that they would always get out of the walkers <laughs> so now they don't want to be in the walkers at all and um they prefer to like just stand up and play we also have two of the push walkers that you they, they're like lawnmowers um, you just stand up to push them and they use those a lot also. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think of like all of the stuff that I need to catch you guys up on because I haven't done a video in so long. And sorry for the background noise. I'm trying to like put up stuff at the same time. But yeah, they, they love their playpen. Here's their playpen. I have this huge like play yard for them. Um, it's big enough for like an adult to get into also, but this allows them to like kind of move around. And plus it's like a place where I can put all of their toys and stuff. So, and they take naps in here throughout the day as well. So, um, food wise, they're eating everything. They're eating baby food and solids. Um, they love their finger foods and they love their baby food. Um, I haven't really had many flavors of baby food that they don't like. Um, they've tried a variety of things, so um, they pretty much like pretty much everything that they've tried so far. Um, I will say that um, here recently, Araya, well, yeah, Araya has been wanting more finger foods than her actual baby food but i've been working to try and get her to um still eat her baby food because that is a significant portion of her nutrition and she does need to eat her baby food and not just finger foods because yeah she's not old enough for that yet Oriah oh, does have a half of a tooth by the way jace has no teeth yet um they are in the work in the works um I kind of felt like they were gonna be late bloomers with the teeth because Taylor did not get her first tooth until around 11 months. And now that I think about it, they're 11 months in there. Araya's just now getting her first tooth. Um, Jais, like I said, he hasn't gotten a tooth yet. And also, Taylor is very late on her teeth, her baby teeth falling out. She, Taylor's now 11 and she's still losing baby teeth like she just lost two baby teeth like a week and a half ago so um yeah we're late with the teeth over here but they're coming all of the all of my friends that i know who have babies that around their age <laughs> they already have like multiple teeth and at first i was kind of worried but then i was like you know what no because every baby develops differently and they're gonna have teeth don't worry about it so if your child still doesn't have teeth and they're you know 11 even 12 months don't worry too much about it i they'll they'll have teeth don't worry um but yeah so that's that sleep wise i would say that we are kind of going into a i don't know if it's a sleep regression or we are just severely off track but for the past like two weeks two and a half weeks now like the twins have been so off with their sleeping now you guys know before i was a strict like 9 30 babies in bed all the kids in bed and that would allow us to get a good significant portion of rest and work done at night like cleaning up and stuff um now it's been I know we've had like a lot going on lately, 
but um nail is a little bit difficult uh oh my screen is going out Nails been a little bit more difficult to get them to go to sleep because I find that they have been like really wound up. I don't know if they're overstimulated or what, but they've been really wound up at night. So instead of going to bed, they think it's playtime. <laughs> and that's a problem because then by the time they go to sleep, they're restless and they're tossing and turning and it just ends up no one's getting any sleep. We're not sleeping very good at night anymore, but hopefully we can get that back on track i'm actually considering um like moving their bedtime up to like 8 8 30 or 8 o'clock to try and offset some of that hour that they're just like super super active um but yeah that's a work in progress let me know down below if anybody's like experienced that before with their 11 month old just kind of like going backwards in um sleep like they're not sleeping anymore <laughs> they are not sleeping araya i will say is the better sleeper out of the two araya takes full naps and she also sleeps through the night more or longer sorry than jay's again here lately it's been super off even for Araya it's been off and so I kind of feel like if it if Araya is off of her sleep pattern like we're doing something wrong <laughs> or we're doing something that needs to change um because Araya is typically a very good sleeper and even she has not been getting the sleep that she needs to um Another thing that I noticed is that Jais is very needy for attention. Um, he gets very upset if he's not held or if he wakes up and no one's like right there to get him as soon as he opens his eyes, which um, is something that I'm still struggling to kind of um, manage with him because we don't want him to be so codependent on us that if we sit him down for a second, he just screams and cries. Um, because Araya, she will wake up and, okay, if she sees me in the other room or sees me somewhere, she's fine. Or even if she doesn't see me at all, because there'll be times where she's sleeping in the crib upstairs and I just look at her on the monitor and wake up, she'll look around. If she doesn't see anyone, she'll self-soothe with her fingers. Um, she'll like to um, nibble on her fingers, but Jais doesn't do that. He doesn't have a self-soothing um, mechanism quite yet. We've tried the pacifier. He used to be on the pacifier, but now he's kind of like done with that. He doesn't want anything to do with the pacifier, so I'm not gonna try and force him with that, but um, he does not have a, he's not a self-soother quite yet. So we're still working with him, trying not to do the whole holding him all the time, thing that a lot of a lot of parents kind of like fall victim or fall guilty of like myself I included um just trying to figure out ways to kind of build his confidence up and let him know that everything is going to be okay even if no one's holding you 24 7 so yeah okay kitchen is like Still not done. <laughs> I literally just took all the dishes out of the dishwasher and had to sit them out to dry. So, yeah. These are the pacifiers that Jais used to like. I'm gonna wash them anyways and put them back, but I tried to give him these pacifiers and he would not take them. Actually, it's funny because Araya will, like, take them and bite on them like they're chew toys. So, yeah, but these were the only pacifiers that he would take as a baby. And he wants nothing to do with them anymore, which I'm kind of glad he doesn't want the pacifier because I don't want him to be one of those kids, like, that just has to have the pacifier all the time. But at the same time, I do want him to um, have some
type of way to soothe himself. Cause I don't really like him crying his little heart out. All right, so I'm back at my desk just for a second to get some work done. I actually have like um, a couple of things that I need to do today. Um, besides work, I also need to run by the post office to drop off a package and um, the other stuff I told you about. Oh, I need to go by the pharmacy to pick up some Tylenol and I need to, hmm. I gotta go pick up Tay. Yeah, I have like an hour and a half before everyone starts coming back home. Once everyone starts coming back home, it's going to be more difficult for me to get this cleaning up done because like the space is just utilized. So I really try and take advantage while I'm working from home. I really try and take advantage of like the twins nap time um, and stuff to get things done and for the most part i will say because i get a lot of questions about how i manage working from home and caring for twins at the same time um i will say that once you get a routine down or a system down it's so much easier like i feel like initially i kind of just went in and was like all right 100 percent to working 100 percent to the twins and that just you can't give 100 percent in two places um it just doesn't work that way so i divided up my work day to kind of fit around the twins schedule so i'll start off um I usually have peaks. I know when the peaks in my days are. The peaks in my days are usually the mornings. And pretty much the mornings is my highest peak. So we'll start with that. Um, the kids are waking up in the mornings. They have to get lunches packed. Get dressed. Um, they gotta get a breakfast. And you know get out to school. And um, so that's the toughest part. Because when I wake up in the morning. If the twins are up also, then I'm not able to help out with the older kids as much because the twins kind of like eat up my time there. And um, so what I've started doing is um, but I will say um, it's been a little bit more challenging here lately because since the twins have been off of their sleep schedule they've been waking up as soon as I wake up in the morning so which wasn't the case before usually I would wake up in the morning and the twins would still be sleeping I would be able to go ahead and help the older kids with um you know all those things that I just listed and then by the time I was done that I would have like a little bit more time a little bit of time left before the twins woke up but now that has kind of shifted. So now like everyone's kind of waking up at the same time. And it's a little bit more chaotic than I would like it to be. But um, we're working through it. Um, okay. So moving on to the next task. Let me tackle this living room. All right. This one should be pretty easy. Um, you guys can see, as you guys can see, the living room isn't that bad. Um, I try and keep this room clean because of this is like the space that the twins are in. But stuff just ends up everywhere still.
let me show you guys what I use to clean with. Um, I disinfect like sofa and stuff, like tabletops and things of that nature with Lysol, obviously. And then for the kids' toys, I'm running low on this, but I use this all-purpose spray. It is a chemical-free spray. This is not sponsored or anything. Um, but this is what I use for their toys and stuff that I know that they're going to touch immediately. So, like, if I don't get to Lysol off their toys um, at night, I'll do this in the morning when I wake up because I know that they're going to wake up and touch it immediately. So... If this isn't completely dry, it's not harmful. So yeah, let me go ahead and clean up. Black leather glove, no seat. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leak shit. Nike crossbody got a piece in. Gotta dance, but it's really on some street shit I'ma show you how to get it, it go right foot up Left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide Basically I'm saying either way we bout to slide hey, Can't let this one slide Don't you wanna dance with me, no I could dance like Michael Jackson I could give you the passion It's a thriller in a track Where we from? Baby, don't you wanna dance with me, no I could dance like Michael Jack, son I could get you satisfaction And you know we out here every day with it I'ma show you how to get it It go right foot up, left foot slide Left foot up, right foot slide Basically I'm saying either way we bout to slide Can't let this one slide Can't let this one slide Two thousand shorties wanna tie the knot Two hundred shooters on my brother's block Better love the roads like I love a knot I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't stop Won't stop, never stop Got so many cops, I be mistaken I for other ops Got so many people that I love out of trouble spot Other than the family, I gotta see the you and me That's just how I think it's either you and me this life got too deep for you, baby Two or three of us about to treat when it's staying Black leather glove, no seat Buckles on the jacket, it's a leak shit Nike crossbody, got a piece in Got a dance, but it's really on some street shit I'ma show you how to get it, it go right foot up Left foot slide, left foot up Right foot slide Basically I'm saying either way we bout to slide hey, Can't let this one slide Two C slide, then I hit it double time, then I hit a spin, cause we spun that block a couple times. If it's not the right time, there'll always be another time. I'm not even tripping, we'll just see them in the summertime. Oh, yeah. So I'm back in the kitchen. Next, I'm going to just go ahead and prep the twins' bottles. I like to always like have some bottles already made while I can so that I don't have to rush and make them if they get fussy. So I have been breastfeeding a little bit less than I used to. Obviously, I am weaning the twins off. Um, I was going to say I was going to stop breastfeeding altogether at 12 months when they turned a year old, but I will go ahead and continue to breastfeed for as long as I need to, um, because it doesn't hurt, um, to keep on breastfeeding them, but they will be transitioning to, um, whole milk pretty soon. So I just want to make sure that they hang on <laughs> three three i don't want to lose count of how many scoops i've put in these bottles four there you go four okay anyways back to what i was saying so the swans are about to transition to whole milk um i'm actually looking at alternatives to whole milk um something that's like a little bit more gentle on their stomach um so 
um, they'll be tra transitioning pretty soon out of the formula and breast milk. Um, and, but for right now, oh, what I was going to say about the breastfeeding, I still do breastfeed both Araya and Jais. Um, I primarily breastfeed them at night, um, because that's when I have the most time to do so, um, during the day. Um, I was breastfeeding them during the day, during my work day, but now that, um, you know, they're a lot more active during the day. I just go ahead and give them the bottles during the day. Plus, I have help, and it's kind of, like, hard to work and nurse in front of everyone. So, um, I do go ahead and just give them the bottle during the daytime, and at night, I will nurse them. So, um, but yeah. So, if you guys had any questions about that, yes, I do still nurse the twins. Um, I get asked that a lot. Um, because everyone ends their breastfeeding journey at different points and um, my personal goal was to make it to a year breastfeeding and then after that I would assess and see you know if I wanted to keep going or if I wanted to just stop um, and I decided that I am going to if they need it it's there if not um, you know, I can, I'm always phasing out of it and they're transitioning. So, so yeah, that's that. Got two bottles prepared for them. I'm going to put these, I keep their milk separate from the stuff in our big refrigerator just because it's so much easier for me to know where stuff is, like their food. Um, it all gets put into this smaller refrigerator, which you pro probably have seen on, um, previous vlogs. It's the same fridge. Sorry about the mess in the background. This is my little office area. Um, I'm still trying to clean up in here. But yeah, let me show you guys my fridge again. This is, oh, I need to put a top on this bottle. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to find the top. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to find the top to put on this bottle because I keep on losing tops for some reason. But yeah, this is like where I keep all of the twins like little food and stuff. So this is food that I prep for them for dinner today. And then I have snack packs that I made. I call these snack packs, they're food pouches that I made. Um, for them because sometimes Araya will not eat out of the spoon. She won't like, she won't do the spoon fed eating so um i prepped these just in case she won't take them and then yeah they're bottles and then this is my, this is my 11 year old's favorite drink right here these um aloe vera drinks she loves these so yeah those are in there too i do not pump anymore i stopped pumping I think the last time I pumped was in August. Um, I don't pump anymore. So, um, I am officially, yeah, I don't pump anymore. So, I am officially giving away both of my pump. Actually, I have three pumps. I'm officially giving away my pumps. I have two of the Spectra pumps. Um, I have the Spectra 1 and the Spectra 2. Um, I'm giving both of those away. And then I have a smaller Avita pump that I'm also going to give away. Um, so, I'm actually um, not missing the pump at all because the pumps were, I mean, it was just, it was such, like, I had to build, um, I had to build pumping into my daily routine. Like, it was so difficult sometimes. Like, I want to go and do things, but then I have to carry my pump with me or... Um, I have to stop what I'm doing and go pump. I don't have to do that now. I nurse when I need to and boom, bada boom, bada bang, it's done. But um, yeah, so bye bye pumps. Those are going away. So I've disinfected 
and cleaned up and organized the twins play area i'm just gonna put their toys back in here the house smells super good <clears throat> i am probably gonna give these walkers away also i'm gonna probably put them on like maybe Facebook Marketplace or something, see if someone wants to come and pick them up because the twins aren't really using them anymore. There's no use in keeping them here, taking up space when another baby can be playing with these. So, um, about this little office thing. So I work from home still and I have my own space where I'm able to come and work. Um, but it looks like this right now. I'm gonna show you guys. It looks terrible right now. Um, I have stuff kind of like all over the place because we had put everything in storage because we were about to move and then that got delayed. So we took everything out of storage and decided to just store it in our basement. And yeah. Yeah, so we've got stuff everywhere. I cannot wait to move slash get this house like really organized because I am such a stickler for cleanliness. I love cleanliness and organization and this house right now, I'm just gonna be 100% honest, um, this house right now is not doing it for me. Like it is always junky in my opinion. Um, that goes without saying like anyone who has kids knows um, but I'm like so embarrassed right now about how like awful my house looks So like I don't want to invite anyone over here It's just we got way too much going on way too much um, So Doing what I can to get this thing this place organized So yeah Anyways, I don't want to bore you all with me talking and cleaning up the house so i'm going to flip to when i actually leave to go to the post office so i'll see you guys when i get to the post office okay so i made it back to the house <laughs> um as you can see it's dark outside um it's like nine almost 9 30 at night uh oh lights are going out yeah it's almost 9 30 at night um, I did not film while I was at my parents' house, nor did I film at the post office, because I literally just got to the post office, and it was just way too much to be trying to film. Um, and then I totally forgot about vlogging while I was at my parents' house. But the twins had a blast. Tay had a blast. She's home from school, obviously. Um, <laughs> the twins are in their car seat sleeping. Um, so we're going to go in the house, go ahead and get situated with baths and go to bed because I'm tired. I'm trying to get a good night's rest and I want my kiddos to also rest peacefully. So that'll be the end of this vlog um, slash a love month update for the twins slash a life update. Um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Sorry I cut out like so much of my day. Um, but yeah, this was my day and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, stay beautiful, stay blessed. And see you guys.